What's up hockey players? Coach Garner here from HockeyTraining.com. In this video, I want to run you through a body weight only, no equipment needed, limited space speed workout that you can do practically anywhere and still become a way faster hockey player on the ice. How it's going to work is we're going to break this thing up into three different supersets and there's a lot of logic behind how we're doing this. Superset number one, we're going to focus on vertical power output. Superset number two, we're going to focus on horizontal power output. And superset number three, we're going to focus on full body kinetic chain work. The reason why we're doing this is vertical power is different than horizontal power, is different than kinetic chain work. Vertical power, as suggested by the research, helps hockey athletes with explosive speed and acceleration. See, a lot of people don't know speed is separated into many different categories. Your starting speed, your top speed, your acceleration, your deceleration. A lot of these things are different trainable qualities. So we have to know what exercises train what quality so that we can make hockey athletes not just fast in one area, but fast in all areas. So that first vertical power component of this superset is going to help you with your explosiveness, so your starting speed, and your acceleration, so you can get up to your top speed at a faster rate than the opponent beside you so you can blow by them and get to the puck. That's our first superset. Second superset is focusing on horizontal power, which as suggested by the research, helps hockey athletes with their top speed and their deceleration. So where the first one was acceleration and starting speed, the second superset is top speed and deceleration. So now your true, what's known as your limit speed, becomes higher. You become a faster hockey player when you're given a runway to get to that top speed. But you might be confused, this a second component within this horizontal power superset is associated with deceleration. Deceleration is wildly important for hockey athletes. It's going to allow you prevent injury because one of the top things that gives hockey athletes injury is high velocity direction change. When you're trying to go very fast into a movement and you don't have the decelerate of strength to be able to deal with that. So deceleration helps you prevent injury, but deceleration is the number one quality for agility. You need to be able to stop start. Stopping is the first thing that you do when it comes to agility. Your stop start speed has to be wildly fast if you want to be the most agile uh, opponent out in the ice. So this second superset is important for deceleration and for your top speed. Our third superset is all about total kinetic chain coordination. So we're going to finish with some good fat burning conditioning, but combining both horizontal and vertical power together in one sequenced movement so that the whole organism as a whole can get connected with those type of athletic qualities and those type of movement patterns because you need to do it in order to practice it for it to get a real result out in the ice. So. Our first superset is going to be a combination of split squats into return stances and then quarter squat into squat jump. Split squat into return stance is simply a split squat jump. If you're familiar with split squat jump, this would just be here. But our split squat to return stance, my leg is going to drive up and get back. Drive back. Drive back. That's the split squat into return stance, working on our vertical power and coordination, since that's a little bit harder than it looks. Next exercise is the quarter squat into squat jump. So think of this as just loading up twice. I want to increase the time under tension on the muscles that are going to allow you to be more explosive out in the ice. So quarter squat and then squat jump. Quarter squat, squat jump. That's what we're going to be doing for those first two exercises. You're going to perform three per leg on the split squat jumps and then eight total for the quarter squat into squat jump. You're going to perform that for three total sets with 90 seconds rest in between each one. And then you're done and we're moving on to our horizontal power work. Horizontal power work is going to be a combination of broad jumps and single leg hip thrust. For the broad jump, we're going to perform six straight broad jumps. And since we're working within a limited space, we're going to turn around for each one. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to do my broad jump, turn around, back, turn around, and I'm back. I'm, notice I'm extending my hips. I wanted to really demonstrate that. You want to throw your hips forward and reach hip extension because that's horizontal power. Horizontal power is what we want to train here to get that different speed quality hockey athletes need on the ice. So we're going to perform six total broad jumps and then I'm going to have you follow me onto the ground here and we're going to go into single leg hip thrust. 
Single leg hip thrust is still horizontal power, even though we're going upwards, because we're using our horizontal based muscles for this movement. And it's also a great mobility exercise for hockey athletes as well, because so many hockey athletes have issues in their groin, hips, and low back. Here, we're gonna plant one foot in the ground, hands straight down, back, this foot straight up, and extend from here. We're gonna perform eight extensions per side, and fully extend here. Don't go for speed. Don't try and make this a conditioning thing. We wanna be extension, 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 okay? That's how you're gonna perform the single leg hip thrust, and that's gonna complete the horizontal based power segment for this superset. So our first two supersets are done, which brings us to our very last one, which is a combination of lateral reaching lunges and then our mountain climber burpees. The lateral reaching lunge, you're gonna start in this position and it's a real kinetic chain movement because we're lateral lunging and then reaching at the same time. Now you can do this body weight or I can hold two dumbbells and do this here as well. This is important because we're loading up the lateral muscles that are so important for skating power, but we're also reaching, which is giving us decelerative strength in our lower back. And the lower back is actually the number one injury in the NHL. So we need to make sure we're strong, stable, and have decelerative strength back here. So when I'm coming back, it's actually my lower back that's decelerating my body. So lunge here, back, lunge, back, lunge, and back. We're gonna be doing those lateral reaching lunges, five per leg, before moving on to the mountain climber burpee. We're not gonna jump with this one. We're just gonna be here, down, perform four with our foot actually reaching beside our hands. So here, one, two, three, four, back up, one. One, two, three, four, back up, two. This adds another total body kinetic chain movement into this workout, but a definite conditioning aspect as well. You can probably hear my labored breathing a little bit here, but mobility, because I'm bringing that foot all the way up beside my hand, which is great for hockey players, hamstrings, groin, and overall hip range of motion and pain-free movement. That's gonna wrap it up, you guys. You're gonna do four rounds of that with 90 seconds rest in between. And that's the limited space, no equipment needed, speed workout for hockey athletes. When you've got vertical power, horizontal power, and total body kinetic chain movement specific for hockey athletes in one workout they can do without any equipment, that's a very, very, very powerful thing and a very science-based workout that really creates real results out in the ice. If you want a cheat sheet version of this workout so you can print it out and do it yourself at home, click on the link in the description because I've already got a PDF ready for you to download. If you learned anything from this video and you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And for more information on hockey training programs, go to hockeytraining.com programs or just click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.